Okay, hi, my name is Mike Barnes, and uh, I'm trying to record this on my own uh, and, and get some information out there. Uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, I have uh, a, a brand new uh, product that we're working on. Um, this is XCore, uh, and uh, it is a uh, module that uh, is able to power a full computer, uh, basically running x86. Now, if we take a look here, uh, what we'll see is this is uh, the computer module itself. And uh, see my finger here, right here, grabbing, once again, one hand. This is the entire computer on the module right here, uh, the x86 uh, 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 CPU and the RAM. Uh, if I set this down over here, I'm going to show you a popular uh, music player right next to it. You can see that the... Um, uh, that the module is actually small enough to fit into uh, uh, this uh, player. Or if I uh, move this aside and put this smartphone, this is a very popular, a very small uh, E71 from Nokia, you can see that uh, actually uh, the computer module uh, could literally fit inside of this. Now, this module is capable of running uh, any x86 operating system uh, like uh, Linux or uh, Windows XP. Uh, and uh, we have literally everything on this. It's powered by the uh, X-Core uh, 86, which is device on chip. Now, um, I'm going to put this uh, module back inside. Let me show you a little bit another thing about this um, uh, netbook. Uh, you notice that this netbook here has a SD module right there. We can use this uh, to, as our primary storage. We have another SD module on the outside that we can use uh, for additional storage. Uh, we have this uh, IDE connector, so we can add a 2.5-inch hard drive and store it into this uh, storage bay over here. There's a chamber here that we can use for adding uh, USB expansion. You take a look in there, there's a USB connector. So I could add, a, uh, if I could fit it, a GPS module, or I could uh, put a, a Wi-Fi module. I could uh, mount that into this whole chamber here and then just run the cable underneath. Uh, so I could put a fairly good-sized USB device. Uh, inside this chamber uh, for a custom application. And then something else that's kind of interesting about this application is notice that we use a straight power cord. There's no um, uh, adapter module. And then uh, finally, double uh, A batteries. Um, we can configure this with lithium ion uh, if, the, if that's what the customer wants. But uh, with the nickel metal hydride, uh, we're able to use just off the shelf batteries instead of going out and buying expensive battery packs. Uh, you can buy eight of these cells for about $20, and uh, eight uh, nickel metal hydride batteries will power uh, this netbook for about four hours. One of the advantages of this is that uh, uh, you can have another set of batteries. Uh, if you needed to go for eight hours, you can charge these, uh, the batteries up in an external charger. Or uh, if uh, you just needed to replace the batteries as they go, uh, get older, you don't have to pay $100, $125, uh, to a vendor uh, on, on a custom ordered uh, a battery pack where you have to wait uh, to get it. Uh, so anyway, what I'm going to do now is once again, uh, using uh, one hand, is to put this, this uh, um, module back in. And uh, if I had two hands, it would be a little smoother, but it's just like putting in uh, memory, but this is the CPU and RAM. So I, there. So I snapped it in. And notice there's absolutely no fans on, on this device. Uh, we use the uh, aluminum cover here on the heat, uh, as the heat sink. Close this up. And then I'll close up the, the battery pack here. All right. Now, as I'm turning this around, we have another feature here, which is that you can uh, replace the skin here. There's four screws, and um, the backlight from the LED uh, will uh, uh, backlight uh, whatever picture or printout that you have. Okay, so here is the netbook. And uh, I push the button and we'll start powering up. Let me back away a little bit and uh, you'll see that it's going through the testing now. Um, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, netbook. We have a pretty good size uh, touch uh, pad right here, uh, push buttons. Uh, we have two USB ports uh, over here to the side. Uh, we have an SD socket for another SD module in addition to the one that's internal. And then on this side, uh, we have um, an Ethernet port. Uh, we have our VGA port. We have uh, another USB port, and then sound in and out. 
Um, and then, once again, with one hand, you'll see that um, this keyboard is actually better or bigger than most of the keyboards that, uh, that you'll find out there. So it's about 45 seconds. We're just about into Windows XP right now. Uh, so the boot is, is, is respectable. Performance is respectable here. Uh, the, the, the really uh, good news about this device is that uh, fully configured with uh, about uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, put 8 gigabytes of storage on the SD, uh, batteries, and Wi-Fi, this unit should sell for right around two, 200 US dollars. So this would be probably the lowest cost 8.9 inch screen on the market today.